Ladies and gentlemen, Nicola Miranda. Thank you so much, guys. Hollywood film and TV writers are on strike. Hey, ho, ho. Writers, make your favorite shows. Hey, hey. This isn't the first time a major writer's strike has put Hollywood on the brink of a full production shutdown. But this could be the first one in which artificial intelligence plays a big role. There are various tools that are trying to push the boundaries of what is possible. Whether it's the third, fourth, fifth generation, it's going to be very soon until we can literally just type in a prompt and, and see something as a consumer and you don't have to have um, any sort of skills as a visual effects artist or as uh, someone in the entertainment industry. Here's why the generative potential of AI has emerged as a key issue in this year's writer's strike. All right, so let's kick things off. Thank you so much, by the way. Um, welcome to the awards conference. Um, let's kick things off with like a little pull here. How many of you have tried to using AI tools to generate an image, video, or test and didn't quite hit the mark, for example, like with me, Journey? That's great, perfect. Okay, now let's take a look at a video that's about what it feels to make a mistake with the AI generation. This clip coming from the new Marvel Secret Invasion intro clip, and probably I just lose the chance to get tired by Marvels. Uh, besides, um, you might be wondering why a power ass like Marvel um, will produce something that seems a bit off from actually the user standard. I made some research, and incredibly, it turns out that Marvel didn't involve almost any artist in the creation of that clip. It was like almost entirely created by AI. My name is Nicola Miranda. Over the past seven years, I work as the art director, designer, developer with Iconic Brands. Um, and lately, um, I build them into the realms of like Web3, AI, computing, spatial computing, machine learning. And today, I'm here, here uh, to share insight with you with this journey and discuss where our industry is at the next. So let's roll the clip um, with this one more expanding in the last few years. One of my favorite quotes is like by Arthur C. Clarke that insufficiently advanced technology is likely indistinguishable from magic. Think about it, just a decade ago, uh, most of the AI-powered tools and experience that now we take for granted it seems like sorcery, whether it's like generating realistic human faces from scratch, AI continually uh, blurs the line between technology and magic. And, but here's the twist, while technology might seem magical, the spectacle is, so to speak, is in our ends, our knowledge, our creativity, our human touch that guiding it. So who loves like a little bit of like math with their morning coffee? I promise like this is going to be fun. Uh, so imagine basically like Omega, that is usually like the ultimate level of like creativity, the zenith of creativity. To get there, we need three essential ingredients. The first one is like alpha, knowledge. The second one is like beta, the taste. And then we have like Omega, that uh, uh, gamma, that is like our technical progress. So this formula underscores a simple truth, that while knowledge 
in taste from the foundation of our technical abilities. Abilities can supercharge our creative feats with AI, and in simple terms, the better, the better we are technically, the more outstanding our AI enhanced creativity outcomes will be. So with the advent of AI, designers are now empowered to address and solve problems with greater precision and speed. AI doesn't just automate, it augments the designer and developer. Uh, when a designer deeply understands their craft, as well as developers, integrating AI becomes a tool to elevate their craft, not replacing it. Uh, to bring vision to life, there is like this example uh, where I'm generating like production record for build without writing any line of code at Figma. They have the clear vision for the future. They believe that as we navigate the age of AI, product roles and collaboration are set to undergo a transformation. AI will become the perfect hub to promote the balance cross-disciplinary between designer and developer, and this can allow us not only faster process, but also like create synergy. Uh, across teammates on studio and agency to save budget and avoid like any waste of time. For example, like Daniel Rosiev here, through AI, simplified the concept um, of creating basically like a depth map and transforming it into like an engaging three parallax effect. He created a spiral pattern using Cree AI, and with the help of like Leia Inc., he generated this outsourced depth map and using Blender, uh, he was able to actually recreate the real time morphing between the spirals. Uh, and fake this incredibly 3D uh, movement in a very short amount of time. For example, I did something very similar like one year ago, and it takes like two months. And basically, with AI right now, you can do it like in minutes. So for sure, that's scary. But and speaking of real time like morphing, ever wonder what happens when you feed AI with so much karaoke? Who was here last year? Who was here? OK, great. So I basically will talk about like, this slide about the vocabulary, where using keywords and have like, a good knowledge of keywords is super important to make sure that actually like, the AI digests that and then can produce like, a greater result. So let's take a moment, for example, like, to appreciate like, the language of the future. When we say artificial intelligence um, or machine learning, it might sound that we have stepped into a, like, a sci-fi movie. But these terms, along with others like neural networks and natural language processing, are becoming a part of the our everyday like, vocabulary. Think of them as the secret ingredient in the tech receipts that make our apps smarter, our website faster, and our virtual assistant like, more assistant -y. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Google I.O. AI, as an AI first to make AI, we have been applying AI with generative AI, generative AI powered by AI. AI is, which uses AI to better buy AI. AI, AI, and AI. Um, AI is not just about AI. It's like big space, big thing, like basically build off like too many things. And one of them is basically like NLP and machine learning. So very simple, this, is like, this like scheme is just like needed to understand what actually is like the difference and how basically AI is much bigger than what we think. Um, on the left, we have NLP. It's our gateway to understanding and generating human language, allowing machine to comprehend, respond, and even predict our words. On the right hand side, we have machine learning. That is basically the brain behind the operation, constantly learning from data, improving its prediction, and automating complex tasks. And this AI technology will shape completely the way you know, we experience, you know, we prototype. We will see uh, that in the last years, uh, in the next years, we are going to basically change drastically like this thing. And imagine that maybe one day, Maybe the website that today we call it as website, maybe one day it might be like called spatial website. And so talking about spatial computing, now as this, we stand the brink of AI, spatial computing is like a word that every use like every day more. Spatial computing extends our day life in interactions, making the environment around us a canvas for digital information. From gaming to healthcare to education, is set to redefine how we interact with the digital realm in front of us. Let's take a look, for example, like to Apple Vision like concept. In this short clip, Apple show us where you are in like an hotel or like you are like in a restaurant, you can transform your living room into a workspace where you can stand your monitors, prototype, or even like make meetings. And whether it's like in a bustling office or like a quiet home corner, such innovation ensure that we stay in top of our game wherever we are. So imagine like a realm where actually design meets the infinite space of like digital computing. And so Alex Wida, for example, pioneered like an app that plucks frames from Figma and suspend them like in a 3D world. Basically uh, lets you extract like frames directly from Figma and let literally like put them into space. The way you know, we prototype today with drastically change, I don't know you actually, but 
I honestly cannot wait. Um, Stephen Comfey once said, begin with the end in mind. Let's say, for example, like ChatGPT Vision is going to be released like soon, um, which have the potential to turn swipe frames into code. Uh, we just like an image uploaded, and that's, that's incredible, and it's revolutionary for, for sure. Uh, AI can provide the tools, the shortcuts, even some of the answers, but it's the human touch, our innate creativity and understanding that shapes these outputs into truly remarkable results. Uh, a few months ago, I had the honor of collaborating with Sonar Music, Australia Panic of Music, and together we embark on a journey to transform their digital presence. And we design, uh, we create like a symphony of like visual interaction through the, also the, dance, the lens of AI. And quick views, animated vectors that echo the very essence of the sound frequencies. And so, picturing the art of framing photography, I have crafted um, that dynamically uh, busily designed that rearranged the squares that come in actually like from the logo. And these not only symbolize the seamless integration of sonar diverse element, but also like he caused the rhythm of sound waves. Um, it's a visual representation of, of like harmony in diversity. So the procedural like partitioning that shaped this irregular grid is like a deliberate like crescendo. The aim wasn't just about showcasing the content, um, but also like delve deeper without losing the side of the broader content. And so the UX challenge was like to ensuring that these quick views actually like remain consistently accessible. And using ChatGPT, we was be able um, to create like a code starter and simplify that in a very short amount of time. The random, for example, like framing was built uh, for poster design to work seamlessly for advertising, campaigns, interactive billboards, and they're cr ca carefully crafted, echoing the rhythm patterns um, that we see in audio equalizer and frequencies. And each line, each notch, applied on a different pattern, symbolized basically a connection to sound. For the interactive poster, I visualized like, the idea of all these squares moving randomly and set up all the keyframes to make sure that all the squares scale up and down while probably will take hours. And so I was wondering, how can I, what about instead of like generating a JavaScript expression using ChatGPT and then inject that inside After Effects to basically like save time? And so after like some like minutes of debug, the right JS basically comes out and it just worked lovely. But now let's step back um, out from our industry and see how I, AI might potentially affect others like the entertainment industry, for example. So there's like a saying that says, a prediction that by 2025, the 90% of Hollywood content might be partly AI generated, indicating a substantial investment in AI technologies by media and entertainment uh, companies. And it will really basically like be stronger than getting a slap in the face of Will Smith, but with the end of Shaquille O'Neal. Uh, but what I'm saying is that instead of like fearing how AI might take our jobs, shouldn't we focus on like carving our place like in an AI-dominated world? How do we ensure that we're not just surviving, but thriving uh, in the age of like automation? And so last year, I was completely uh, captivated by the world of NFTs and Web3, like I guess many of you here, and I found something truly special. Um, and it's massive and can really like actually merge sub branches of like multiple industries together. And so with that, in, in January 2022, I launched, like, uh, we launched like a Web3 startup called Divers with the intent um, of, guess what? To be able to celebrate art, connection, and inclusive community, and empowers the media creators of the future. If you remember the video that we saw initially, at, at, at the moment, uh, Hollywood is going to be completely struck by AI. So for everyone that can be considered a digital artist today, there are a few problems. There is no tool or platform that media creators can use to get good earnings from their personal media production. We are seeing the problem right now with AI. Fans and cinema lovers are unable to get earnings based on what they watch. There is a lack of visibility where the rating system is completely corrupted. And the biggest problem is that we still have absence of equity. Paper Check Club is like a collection profile picture of 10,000 NFTs that is literally like the gateway for like the diverse community. And these NFTs um, basically take inspiration from like the VR glasses, the game console, the clapperboard. Um, and here's the main character. Jokes apart, the Taper Chat Club collection are inspired by uh, iconic cinema elements, leveraging like AI, Python, and JavaScript. We established basically the smart contract ARC721A uh, with a staking feature that ensuring that the NFT remains locked and safe directly in the holder's wallet. So Web3 like, promised us a lot, but many feel it didn't deliver. Uh, the space is collapsing for many reasons. For sure, 
We have the problem of the involvement of the venture capital and the money laundry. And even Jack Dorsey, that is like the former CEO of Twitter, um, is at past his dops. He's introduced the idea of Web5, painting a picture of the future where we truly own our data, where is a world built on Bitcoin's foundation where we decentralize up reign supreme. Imagine like a place where you and you only uh, dictate your digital footprint. And this is like the dream of Web5. And here's the blockchain ecosystem platform that shapes entertainment culture into the digital world on, uh, assets owned by the people. Its creators can leverage the distribution and monetize their content through the tokenomics reward system, increase watch time, but especially get earnings and accumulate rewards on action based. But what I'm saying this, I mean, it's like a digital conference about design, development, and we are talking about entertainment. I think that rather than these two needs that we're referring to, I'm seeing like a world affected by AI that can be covered by a decentralized system. That whether it will be web free, that whether it will be web five, can reward any artist, any developer, any founder, any copywriters, and give the user the control of their own identity. AI is not a threat. Is it something that we have to learn to live with by trying to be able to regulate it and fight it at the same time? All right, so let's shift gears uh, for a moment and talk about my favorite cinema, uh, um, visual art, that cinema. Um, Oppenheimer, the latest masterpiece by Christopher Nolan, was released um, recently, and I'm reading an article about Robert J. Oppenheimer that says, that the, the was perhaps the most important who ever lived in our planet. At first I was like, what? But as I left the theater in Amsterdam, it hit me. Oppenheimer uh, held really in his hands the potential of pressing a button and change the course of our planet. And recently I came across um, an online interview where we talked about AI um, and how AI can shape actually our future. And I actually really do agree with him. So let's roll the clip. Uh, other than, I mean, AI, is, it's, it's an issue that, uh, you know, as a Writers Guild member, my union is dealing with right now. Um, you know, and I talk to a lot of AI researchers these days, and, and right now they see this moment in time as, as their Oppenheimer moment. They, they refer to it as that because they're looking to his story to say, OK, we're about to unleash this very powerful technology on the world, and what about the unintended consequences? What do we do about that? But what I find encouraging about the use of AI in the artistic realm is I think they're going to be powerful tools, but ultimately there's no replacing human creativity. And these models and the way in which they process information, they're all based on human creativity from the past. Interesting. So Christopher Nolan, a filmmaker, so traditional that he doesn't even like own a smartphone, on this video shed some light on AI. He spoke about that being the open armor moment, a pivotal point where we're introducing something massive to the world. But here's the kicker. Even Nolan, with his like, old school ways, um, see the potential in AI, yet it firmly believes that no machine uh, can replace the magic of the human touch. And this balance, uh, the dance between AI capabilities and human creativity, was central to my new awards masterclass called Building Interactive Website from design to development. So, spot time. What makes a web page truly exceptional? A user-friendly interface? Engaging animations? What about an original approach to storytelling? Like any remarkable work of art, there are many layers that need to fit cohesively in order to capture an audience. And that's where I came in. Having a well thought out and interactive web experience is a surefire way to build meaningful connection. I'm Nicola Miranda and welcome to my awards masterclass. In this course, we unleash your Figma potential, craft interactive WebGL prototypes with After Effects, and animate them in Webflow using FreeJS. With the AI's power, we'll debug and refine your work, fueling your passion for creating extraordinary digital experiences. Web design merged striking aesthetics and captivating interactivity, but the very first step is to strategically define a speedrun bread guidelines. Mastering a storyboard design architecture process is a key feature to elevate your website interactivity and functionality to new heights. With the foundation in hand, we are ready to jets up the user interface framework and thus create 3D web-based models. We'll end up with a deep QA testing covering accessibility, best practices, and SEO-friendly website. To wrap up things with a bang, we'll be the launch strategy to promote your website and skyrocket your impact. My aim is to enhance your skills as a designer, but also to domestify coding so you can be both the artist and the developer, the composer and the musician, the designer chef and the master of risotto. 
come on board this journey to elevate your career as we team up for a weekly live Q&A session and expand your network with peers and industry professionals. By the end of this awards masterclass, you'll be equipped with the know-how to not only design and develop a website, but also to brief live into it from the ground up. I think that like a big shout out should go like to the worst team, um, domestic CGMA teams, imposter syndrome like level 10 right now. <laughs> but um, they're not just killed, they're truly humble people, they're truly wonderful people. And um, I think that we should do like a round of applause for awards, the entire awards team. Um, envisioning like a classic futuristic gamification web experience, an expected time uh, dives deep into a world where history and culture um, seem slots amidst the overwhelming presence of virtual reality. And the aim was to domestify the coding and the art direction process uh, through the lens of AI to peel back the layers of complexity um, that outcome and help students to reach outstanding goals in a very short amount of time. Um, and so every story needs a heart. And so I ask myself, um, how do I give meaning to a funny futuristic bagog with like a shapeshift eye? or like a Lego body, or even like a classical Gucci Foley winter collection with like willing Lincoln sunglasses. Um, so while crafting the masterclass art direction, I felt the absence of like a cohesive narrative. How, can, how could we unify this diverse look within a, like a futuristic gamification concept? And so I changed the plan of attack and we interrogate basically ChatGPT and boom, it struck gold. Uh, a stone with the power to manipulate space and time and this concept not only tied everything together, but also underscored the importance of like merging AI capabilities um, with human creativity. And so after ChatGPT sparkled the idea of like, this time stone, my creative gears like start to turning. And so drawing inspiration from psychological um, movie, uh, like Transformers and Arrival, um, I begin moodboarding. And given the web-focused nature of the masterclass, uh, I opted for Spline, a streamlined tool that bypasses the complexity of Blender instead of like using GLTF or BJ or maybe like baking textures. Um, and so in the realm of AI generation, think of this structure, diffusion, parameters, resolution, lights, render prompts uh, as your tool, no, back, as your tool um, of the trade, just as a director basically, or like a photography, like satellite, the render, the camera, um, we as digital creators, we tweak those elements to get the desired result and the visual outcome. Whether uh, it's the glow from a light source, the sharpness of an image, or every choice we make that takes the final outcome. And so here you can see an image generated with themes of climate change and cyberpunk, arcane diffusion, 8K resolution, and while it captures intricate detail and sharp focus, it leans a bit of cartoonish that it's not quite actually the reaching out like standard cinematic that um, we would like to actually achieve. And so, how we can enhance our prompts for a more realistic output, how we can make sure to achieve like, a better result when use AI. I think that by now it should like, be clear to each one of us, um, AI possesses immense computational power, but it lacks the taste, it lacks the intuition, and by feeding the AI with a creative image alongside our text prompt, we guide the AI towards like, an envision outcome. Uh, it's like sparkling inspiration in an artist um, using memories and reference. First, we thought layers in design were just for onions. Then we discovered Photoshop, and we immediately download Figma. When crafting the pillar for an expected time, I experimented with various AI generator narrators, seeking like a deep, compelling voice to captivate the users from like the get to go. And after selecting the perfect voice, I dove into Dolby Vision and utilized like techniques like equalization or adjustment. And here, a sneak peek, the final one, not 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 still. Not yet, uh, of an expected time showreel intro preloader. In a world ravaged by climate change and overpopulation, the old ways of life have been forgotten. The metaverse, a virtual world, has become the new reality for most, resulting in the loss of history and culture. But hope flickers in the darkness when a group of students stumble upon a mysterious rock with the power to bend space and time and rekindle the appreciation for the past.
Before closing, I'd like to... Um, Before closing, I'd like to highlight some, like, something. AI responsibly, uh, in the Spider-Man universe, there is like this um, sentence, um, quite famous, that says, from great power come great responsibility. And in the case of AI, I'd said that we should like, say, with great data come also like, great responsibility. This means that being aware of biases, AI models, ensuring fairness, and always putting uh, human rights at the forefront, uh, it's imperative to protect user data, ensuring its confidentiality, and using like, ethically. So this is not something that we can take for granted. Even if AI can credibly like, help us all, we must re like, regulate it. So as we wrap up, uh, let's not only view AI as a tool, but as a platform, one that thrives under our guidance. The digital landscape of tomorrow will be shaped not only by AI only, but our collective experience, insight, taste. So I urge each of us to learn more, stay updated, and most importantly, infuse your hum hum human touch into the AI-driven insight and solution of the future. If you enjoyed this talk, please do connect with me on social media or face-to-face -face during this conference event. And with this, in this special day, as I celebrate my 30th birthday, I'm overwhelmed with gratitude and I felt goes like to Daniel Oscar. Your belief in me is like my guiding star. Uh, lastly, a huge thanks go to the Amazing Works community at Day to God Wellspring of Inspiration. But above all, above all, a big shout out to all of you here. Your attending presence is the real essence of all this talk. Thank you very much.